Hello guys and girls of YouTube and welcome to episode 2 of Laptop Gaming. Today we're going to be reviewing the Gigabyte P35W. Uh, as I stated in my first video uh, on my laptop cooling table, uh, if you didn't see that video, it was the first one I ever posted to YouTube because I'm quite new to this, then uh, I'll put it in the description below so you can check it out. Uh, it's really great, made it myself, really helps with temps with these gaming laptops because they do struggle with heat. Anyway, enough of that, like I say it will be in the link, check it out. Let's crack on with the review here today. Um, it is a Gigabyte P35W version 3. Uh, it's a great little laptop. I've only just purchased it, haven't, I've, I've only had it a week, so I've been playing around with it before I did a review, sort of got used to it, worked out its pros, its cons, which we'll go through in the video as we progress. Uh, let's, so let's start off. Uh, as you can see here, it's a 15.6 inch laptop, and it's made by Gigabyte. It's got an aluminium uh, case here, you know, a lot of plastic. This is actually aluminium, which I think is great. Um, real sturdy laptop, real solid um it's got if we scoot around to the side before we open this up sorry about the camera here guys uh it's got ethernet port we've got two usb 2 connections we've got a headphone connector microphone in we have a card reader as well which is quite handy not something i use but i'm sure some people would take advantage of this it also has um the little lock there, uh, I think it's called the Kensington lock, you know, if I'm wrong then I'm sorry, I'm quite new to laptops, I just jumped from desktop, so I believe, you know, if you're going to LAN parties or gaming tournaments, you know, these guys use these to secure your laptop, these things are not cheap, cost a lot of money, obviously you don't want someone running off with it, so that's a great little feature. If we spin around to the front, as you can see here, the DVD drive is actually located on the front, which, you know, as I say, I'm new to gaming laptops, but from what I've seen, the reviews I did before I purchased this, a lot of them are on the side. This one, coincidentally, is on the front there, which is different. The, this is actually a hot swap drive, which is a really great feature. Um, some other gaming laptops do have it, but you can whip the DVD drive out, and then you could stick in, say, uh, well, there's a blanking plate you can stick in, obviously, if you don't want to use nothing, uh, or... It comes actually in the box when you buy it, it comes with a uh, hard drive uh, bay. So what that means is you can stick yourself in a an additional uh, standard hard drive or like me, you could stick in an SSD drive, uh, more room for your games and obviously they're a lot more snappy than your standard, standard hard drives. So I think that is a really, really great feature. Not seen much of that. If we flip around to this side, uh, you're going to see some more additional USBs. These are USB 3 uh, ports, two of those. We've got an HDMI port, we've got a VGA port, and obviously this is your standard DC in for the charger for the battery. Right, if we flip the laptop over, bear with me again guys, excuse the polka dot uh, table cover. Quite uh, snazzy. Right, here, as you can see, um, we've got a lot of vents. Um, what I really love about this is my old laptop I had, which was just a standard laptop for word processing, web browsing, etc. on the go. To get to the memory and get to the internals on my old laptop, you had to completely strip the thing apart. Take out the, uh, the keyboard, etc. Remove the mother uh, motherboard, sorry, mother drive, what am I on about? Remove the motherboard, flip it over, and the RAM was located on the bottom. Complete strip down. Real pain in the butt. Anyway. Gigabyte and a lot of gaming laptops, I'm not saying Gigabyte only, but this one is amazing. Whip out these screws that you see located around here, and uh, that lid comes off, and then you're exposed to everything. You've got your, your M SATA drive, um, you've got your standard hard drive, you've got your RAM in here, um, and obviously all your other components, you know, if you ever want to in the future change your thermal paste, etc. Everything is really accessible. It's a really great feature. Now, this thing, I'm not going to whip it apart today, uh, just due to the fact that I haven't got my tools handy, and I just wanted to do a quick review video, really. Uh, but basically, if you whip this cover off, and look inside, this laptop actually supports uh, the feature for four hard drives. That is insane for a laptop. Like I say, one down here in your DVD drive comes with a hot swap bay. 
there is a, I don't know if you can see it very well on my camera, there's a little lock here. You flick that across, drive pulls out, stick your hard drive in, that's one. There's an MSATA that comes with it when you buy it. Uh, that is 128 gig, obviously that's just running the OS, you don't really want to stick too much on it. SSD drives, uh, they slow down, you know, once they're near to full capacity. I'm assuming that MSATA is the same, it's the first device I've ever had with an MSATA. Um, also, it's got a spare slot for a, a, a second MSATA. So with the two MSATAs and the DVD drive, we're up to three. And then down in this corner, there is a, um, uh, a HD drive, uh, one terabyte, 7,200 RPM. Um, and that's a hybrid drive, actually. So it has got like a, I believe it's an eight megabyte cache, like SSD. So it's like a mixture between SSD and hard drive, standard hard drive. What that means is it sort of learns from the things you use most regularly and it stores them in, I guess, like a cache. So then they're accessed quicker. Anyway, right, let's jump onto the cooling side of this thing. This is the uh, little intake vent for the uh, i7 uh, fan, the cooling fan. Uh, this side, we've got the intake for the uh, Gigabyte, Gigabyte, excuse me, NVIDIA. GTX 970M graphics card, which comes with this laptop. Here is, uh, under here, there's a copper heat sink with uh, dual pipes, uh, which cool the i7 processor and the uh, NVIDIA graphics card. And then in the center here, there's a little screw here, which you can whip out this little section here. Uh, that whips out and you've got access to your RAM. It's only got two RAM slots. It's only capable of, um, 16 gig of RAM. Now it's, you know, as we all know, and or if you don't, if you're a newcomer to gaming, etc., laptops, PCs, whatever, um, certain devices only support a, you know, a certain, certain amount of RAM. This one, for instance, the motherboard only supports 16 gig, but let's be honest, you don't need a hell of a lot more uh, for gaming, especially, you know, unless you're doing, um, you know, really intense video editing, etc. But I've actually got two uh, sticks of 1600 megahertz, uh, eight gig sticks. So I, I have got the full 16 gig. Um, just, you know, just cause I do do a little bit of video editing or I'm starting to for my YouTube channel. Um, it's not necessarily needed, but it coincidentally used the same RAM that was in my old laptop. So I whipped that out and stuck it in. Um, cause it was no longer needed in my other laptop. So there we go, 16 gig. Not necessarily needed guys, but it's there. If we go to the back here now, um, you can see, sorry, uh, we have the uh, vents here. These are the exhaust vents for the for the two fans. This has, this has got dual fans. Some, some laptops tend to have a fan, you know, down this side or down this side. But this one actually has to, you can actually see one through the vents there if you look closely. This one actually has two, which is really, really great. One for the processor, one for the graphics card, as I have said before. Right. Bear with me if we just flip the laptop over, lift it up and open it. Sorry guys, you've got a nice view of the polka dot again there. Right now, if we go onto the screen, uh, like I say, it's 15, 15 15.6 inch. It's got a built in webcam, you know, not some I use. I've got it disabled. You can actually disable it in the BIOS feature, which I've, you know, I've not seen on laptops. Couldn't do it on my old one, but yeah, it's quite cool. Don't need it. I don't use it. Whatever, excuse me there, guys. Right, the power button is located in a nice little uh, aluminium power button here, located uh, in the center, the top of the keyboard. Uh, this is a backlit keyboard, which is controlled by pressing F, N, and the space bar, and you have free light settings, which are quite cool. Uh, it's got your standard, uh, you know, mouse pad, your trackable mouse pad, whatever they call that. Not really a big fan of that. I do actually have a Gigabyte uh, mouse, gaming mouse. Now it only costs 25 pound. There's a lot of controversy about this, you know, oh, you need to spend like a hundred pounds or some people do on gaming mice. Really, I read the reviews and I, you know, people were saying for 25 quid, it's one of the best gaming mice you can buy. It's not, it's not amazing, it's not the best, but it does the job. I use a controller most of the time, a 360 controller. So, but the mouse is there if I need it for certain games. Um, it, it does the job for me. The keyboard, I will point out, because like I said, I'm new to gaming laptops as such. I've downsized 
just because I'm on the move a lot with my new jobs. It is actually mapped out. So these keys, if you do play with keyboard, I don't, but if you do, this is obviously like your forward, backward, left and right. That's quite cool. That's quite a cool little feature there. So it's sort of, it is aimed, this laptop is aimed for gamers. It is a gaming laptop anyway. So if we take down, look at this little sticky here quickly. Sorry, my camera will focus. This is a P35W and it's actually a version three. And uh, if we look, it's 15.6 uh, wide view angle. The I, the I must say the viewing angle on this is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, my old laptop, you had to be pretty much dead in front of it with a laptop with a very specific angle, otherwise you're just, you know, it's just all fuzzy and you couldn't see it. This thing is absolutely amazing. Um, the CPU is an i7 4710HQ. It's a, it comes shipped with a DDR3L, 8 gig, but like I said, I've upgraded to 6. You've got your 128 gig MSATA um, hard drive, and you've got your, your one terabyte hard drive at 7200 RPM. Comes with a DVD drive shipped. It's just standard DVD. It's not Blu-ray or anything like that. It's Windows 8.1. If we swip over here really quick, as you can see, I've got the i7. Oh, I did say, uh, forgot to say, the i7 is uh, free, 3.5 gig with boost. It's you know, standard at 2.5, but it up to boost it will go up to 3.5, which, you know, is really amazing. Um, it's the first time I've used Intel. I've always been an AMD guy. I'm sure I'm going to get loads of stick for that in the comments, but, you know, I, yeah, I never had a problem with AMD. It, it's cheaper. Yeah, some people will say you've got your fanboys that will say, oh, Intel all the way. People are going to say AMD all the way. It's horses for courses. It swings and roundabouts at the end of the day, guys. But, you know, I, I've now switched to Intel. And, you know, I, I like both. I think they're great. Anyway, we've got the GeForce GTX. And it's a 970M this ships with. And the graphics card has got 6 gig of memory. And it is absolutely amazing. Um, it's this, this is just a cracking little gaming laptop. Um, I brought it from Overclockers uh, UK. Um, I'll also put their link in, in the description. Check them out, they're absolutely amazing. I've used them for over 10 years now. Their customer service is second to none. They are great, they will help you as much as they can and they have great deals, they do weekly deals. If you don't know or if you haven't used them before, they, they do regular weekly deals, etc. And I actually picked this up on sale uh, last week. It was did have a price tag of eighteen hundred pounds, so one thousand eight hundred pounds. Um, and they had it on sale for twelve hundred pounds, and I thought it was a bargain. It, you know, a lot of the ones I've been looking at have got like um, what do they have? GTX eight seventy graphics cards. But you know, for this price, for twelve hundred pounds, because I didn't want to spend much more than that. I actually picked up a real, real good bargain because it comes with a 970M. And I think the only graphics card above that is they do the 980. Um, obviously, there are silly money gaming laptops that have got like SLL 970. SLI, sorry, can't get me words out today. SLI 970s, which is obviously going to be better than this. But you, this is great for me. I can run games in high, ultra, absolutely no problem. I will say, if I just close the lid here, guys, and spin this around, I'll have a little look-see again from the side. I did mention this, the thickness of this laptop is absolutely crazy. I've looked at some gaming laptops. They are absolutely chunky. They're really heavy. Uh, this thing with the battery in um, weighs, I think, don't quote me, I should have done my research. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, it's about seven pounds, six or seven pounds. It, it, it's, it's considerably light considering some of the other gaming laptops that are out there. Like I say, it's, it's, it's not high-end, it's not the greatest laptop there is. That's nothing, you know, no no offence to Gigabyte. It, it's absolutely great, this laptop, for its price range. That, you know, I'm just saying there are bigger ones and better ones, you know, for their price, they're absolutely, ch they're really chunky. This thing is actually, when it's closed, it's, it's only an inch thick. You know, it, that's crazy. It's so small, it's so light, it's so compact. And... I thought that it would get, you know, extremely, extremely hot, and I thought the cooling would be terrible, but it actually does okay. Now, I'm not saying it's great. Laptops, gaming laptops, do get hot. If you know your gaming laptops, they do get extremely, extremely hot. So, uh, you know, a cooling pad is advisable. Now, if you're new to my channel, this is the first time you've checked it out, then have a look down in the description. Like I said at the start of the video, you will see um, I made my own laptop cooler out of a foldable dinner table, breakfast table, whatever you call it, the sort of kind that you sit at your sofa with. 
um, simply because I tried all of the laptop coolers that are available on the market. I've tried some real high-end ones for like 60-ish pounds. So I tried some cheap ones off the bay, um, you know, for like 10, 10 pounds. And I just found with laptop coolers, they all sort of follow each other. They, they either have one massive fan in the center, like a 180 mil, 200 mil fan, or they've got like, I had one that had like six 80 mil fans, extremely loud because they run at stupid RPMs. And I just found that they didn't line up with my heat sinks because as you guys could see from underneath, the, the heat sinks are sort of all located at the very top edge of the, the top edge of the laptop. So I actually went ahead and built my own laptop cooler using a AC DC uh, power outlet, giving it 12 volts. And um, anyway, that's enough about that. Check out the video. It's absolutely great. It really drops the temps. I knocked 20 degrees off the temps. Um, and some of these generic, you know, specifically made laptop coolers, they were only dropping about five degrees off my temps. My homemade one with some sh really high CMF fans uh, dropped 20 degrees off. Enough said. Can't get any better than that. Uh, I hope this review's helped you guys. I did it simply because I haven't seen any reviews about this laptop yet. It's fairly new out. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Like I said in my first video, check it out. It sort of tells you my aims for this channel and how I want to progress with time. It tells you, you know, it helps you with cooling uh, situations. Uh, it shows you how to make the cooling table for about £30, which is absolutely nothing compared to the price of some of these high-end laptop coolers. And um, like I said in my first video, go check it out. I'm going to, as, the, as it progresses, I'm going to start doing some... Uh, I'm going to show you some temp readings without the cooler, with the cooler, playing games, browsing, doing different things. And I will do, like, basically we could call it like the laptop review part two, where I'm actually doing a review of it running up, you know, playing games, different scenarios. So you can see what it handles like with different games, you know, like uh, really, really high end graphical demanding games and lower end stuff, you know, depending on what you, what you play, like sim games, etc. So thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, this is only episode two. The channel is really, really new. I hope you get behind it. Rate, subscribe, comment down below. I'll try and answer all your questions. I hope this has helped you in some way. Any questions um, about the laptop, drop them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you. Um, and also, like I say, there'll, there'll be a second part to this review of it actually up and running and showing you what this thing can do. It is absolutely blistering fast and for the money you know i had it on sale but it, it was a bargain at the price and i believe they have a few left at overclockers um so check them out if you're interested uh, i hope this has helped you guys and informed you in some way uh if, if you're in the market for purchasing a laptop uh i'm sorry about the camera quality guys i like to say this is new channel so I haven't invested loads of money in like a really high-end camera or microphone at the moment. I'm sort of going to go with the flow, see where we end up, and then sort of upgrade my tech as we go through the year. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again.